Right. So welcome everyone. Today we are meeting for Pragyan in, in this uh, series. Our students who have solved their cases with PEM and they are enthusiastic about their re results with PEM and they love sharing. So we have Dr. Mamta with us who has worked out a beautiful case with P applying all the PEM concepts. So welcome Dr. Mamta. Over to you. Thank you, Dr. Neeta. Yeah, just make it full screen, Doctor. Yeah. Just click slideshow over here. Yes. Hope it's correct. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Shri Guru Bhyun Namaha. I would like to salute my all my gurus before beginning this uh, presentation. And um, I thank IPEMA for giving me this opportunity to share this case in Pragyan series. And uh, this uh, Dr. Meeta has told me that I should uh, introduce myself and my journey through homeopathy and uh, ending up uh, with the personal evolution model. So I would like to say that I will be completing my 30 years of uh, practice in this December. So... Uh, I've completed me, my BHMS and then I started with my practice. Initially, I don't know uh, what occurred to me. I was, uh, as all of us know, I, I got into practice very soon after finishing my uh, BHMS. And uh, as anyone would experience i was also experiencing a lot of um, confusions difficulties as to what to follow what to do whether i can manage this case that case etc and my uh, uh, first hope was then our own repertories so i started uh, uh, studying repertories mind rubrics etc and at that particular point of time, uh, computers were newly introduced into homeopathic uh, field. Maybe new, I was new to it or a little earlier they were introduced. I don't know, but uh, there were a few softwares also coming up and all those things. I, I just planned to uh, buy one computer in 2000. And uh, since then I've been uh, using uh, these softwares I've used multiple of them, so many of them. Uh, my only purpose was to help my patients better, know things better and be clear with my prescriptions and thoughts and actions. That's it. And um, so In, uh, in the year uh, uh, 2004 or 5, I completed my um, master's in uh, counseling and psychotherapy. One more thing that I would like to share is from the uh, initial days of practice itself, I started getting psychiatric cases so, so many. I mean, in fact, so many um, schizophrenia cases would come to me. And really, really, it was so difficult to find all those delusions that they had. Really, it was very, very difficult to find in Kent's repertory or uh, synthesis, whatever I was using. It was so difficult. So my search for something better was always on. And I did my MSCP and, uh, and then later I, I got exposed to this basic course from the other song in uh, 2014, I think. 
and then later I did my CCH and then uh, got in touch with Dr. Shankaran on all these stalwarts of our country today. And then at that point of time, initially when I attended uh, Dr. Mahesh Gandhi's uh, classes in our CCH and all, I didn't understand anything. In fact, I have skipped few also. But later, uh, once you realize that something struck to me and uh, uh, yes, it is very, very substantial that he's speaking and he's teaching and I got it. I started attending his modules and later I did my FHPC also. So uh, maybe since uh, uh, seven years, I've been following uh, uh, personal evolution model and then trying to uh, understand better and better. And one more thing that I would like to uh, share is that Dr. Gandhi, though his uh, system is so very much uh, multifaceted and uh, somewhat, um, yeah, multifaceted system, he teaches very, very well. In fact, it's it's an extraordinary way of teaching such a huge thing in, uh, I mean, uh, uh, huge knowledge or very nice uh, advanced knowledge to all of us. I'm very thankful to Dr. Gandhi for that. And then let's, uh, I would like to share a case today through which I'll be uh, exploring personal evolution model and trying to share certain things, whatever I know in this. So firstly, let us talk about what is uh, this model. A very brief info introduction I would like to give because many of you uh, have always, I mean, uh, have already been exposed to these things, I think. Uh, so firstly, what is evolution? Evolution is nothing but a change. It's a change from the prior, what exists previously. It has changed. So it's a change for the better. Something improved. And it's a change in continuum forever. It never stops. We don't know when it started and when it's going to end. And it, it's, a, it's a continuous process. This is a continuous process of evolution. So evolution as a process encompasses everything that we see. The whole universe is subject to it. You know that the galaxies, the nebulas, the stars keep evolving all through. And nonetheless, the human beings. So is it with the, uh, uh, it is with the earth, the plants, the animals, all that exists, including humans. So what is this personal evolution model or in short PEM? So personal evolution model is, uh, it was proposed by Dr. Mahesh Gandhi. The main basis for this is personal evolution model of Eric Erickson, who is a neo-Freudian. It also includes the concept of feminine and the masculine energies, the traits of fire elements, the evolutionary concepts of the periodic table by Jan Charlton and sensation method of Dr. Shankaran as well. And all these things, when uh, beautifully Amalgamated with Yakir's plant evolution, you will uh, you will uh, understand this concept better in the PEM. It's a very beautiful am amalgamation of uh, Yakir's plant evolution model as well. So, Eric Erickson's psychosocial stages, what he has described is, it contains only eight stages. He begins from birth, 
infancy, zero to one year, trust versus mistrust, early childhood, and then play age, school age, adolescence, early adulthood, and middle age and old age. All these things were proposed by Eric Erickson's. Whereas Dr. Gandhi added one more stage, womb stage or stage zero to this model in order to facilitate the understanding and function of a homeopathy. So this womb stage represents the stage from conception to birth. It's primeval, it's, it, it's, it's there since the beginning and it, it's unprepared. So it represents, unprepared means unprepared to be born. That's what is a fetus, right? It's not yet prepared. So it relates to the unconscious world more than the outer world. The connections to death and the other world. You can see here and the crisis of this stage is facing the outer reality versus the living in the inner reality. The main question here is should I face the world or should I withdraw myself inside the womb? So for each stage Erickson all states one crisis, one main question and the psychosocial strength. So follows Dr. Gandhi. So the psychosocial strength is here is faith. So this stage uh, was added to the Eric Erickson model. And the next stage is stage one or infancy. Infancy or uh, it's completely, as you know, when the child is born, it is completely dependent, especially on the mother. Everything, all needs are to be taken care of by the family or the caregiver. All the basic needs, of this whole um, uh, stage is uh, full of the following things, what I, what I am describing now. Basic needs of the infant, food, comfort, dependable affection, and um, this is also governed by, this stage is governed by instincts mainly. Because uh, the child acts more in, uh, with more instincts rather than any intellect or emotion. Instant gratification of all desires is uh, expected by the child and And the child is curious, uh, the child is full of curiosity and excitement. This is mainly the oral stage. This comprises of all the uh, issues related with nutrition, mother child bonding, uh, and then um, uh, to bonding is there or not. I will, uh, will, will I get my needs from the surrounding family or not? This is what is the child's perceptions during this uh, infancy, oral stage. The crisis here is trust versus mistrust. Psychosocial strength would be hope. So mainly this infant, all these stages, uh, actually when Eric Erickson described these stages, he told that each and everything that exist even our lives life situations one of these stages can be related with the situation that we are facing so these accordingly so that's how we decide upon the evolutionary level of the individual that how he is going to perceive the uh, situation. So this is the pattern of perception of the individual 
pertaining to any situation in life. So this is going to help us to uh, know the person's evolution as well as to prescribe him the him uh, pres pres prescribing him the proper remedy. So stage two is toddler or two to three years of stage. So this is mainly this toddler stage is anal. This is the anal stage of development where the child learns to control have control over bubbles and urination. So this is the main thing during this stage 2 toddler uh, stage of development. So control over bubbles and urination and in this stage he the child starts to explore the surroundings. Uh, now he is capable of satisfying some of his own needs and uh, sense of doership, wants to do everything on his own. And anal uh, stage of development and individuals functioning from this stage of development can be very, very obstinate or even domineering and dictatorial. You know, they want to do it. Okay. They... In this stage of developmental, uh, in this stage of developmental issues, these issues are responsible for obsessive traits also. They want to prove obsessively that they are capable of doing things. I can do this. I will do this. So the psychosocial crisis is autonomy versus shame and doubt. Whenever the child fails to control, I'm, the child feels shame. I'm unable to control. I'm unable to, I was unable to do this, that. Okay. So this uh, will have, uh, I mean, uh, this may lead to self-doubt. So the, the psychosocial strength here will be will. I will or I will not. This is what is the psychosocial uh, stage of toddler. So this Stage three would be preschool or four to six years. So this will be, I mean, taking initiative. This is the stage where they take initiative. They can initiate a play. They can initiate to converse with some, I mean, some child or something like that with the autonomy of the toddler stage. So they know certain things how to do. So they do take up certain in initiative in doing something, in some task. Learning basic skills like buttoning, zipping, counting, all these things. And action with purpose. They want to do something, so they act. So in this stage, they may feel, feel guilty when his actions do not produce the desired results. So he may feel, the child may feel embarrassed of people looking at him. They want to open up toys to see what is there inside. They, uh, they, uh, these uh, children want uh, in this stage. The child wants to penetrate things, to know in deep, and in turn feels penetrated by the world around. Everything affects them. They are vulnerable. In this stage, they notice the difference in sexes. They're curious about it and especially in this stage, you will find many sexual abuses and adults who may take advantage of such curiosity may abuse the child. Courage, independence and the ability to take the challenges of taking initiatives is the main focus of this stage. So the psychosocial crisis here is initiative versus guilt. Am I good or bad? Psychosocial strength here is purpose. So the next stage would be school age. 7 to 12 years of age. So the child starts going to school. It's something other than 
his family, growing out of the family to the school, imbibing societal values. The child starts learning the societal values. What is it to go to school? I should be there on time. Okay. I should, one should not be late to the school. This certain basic rules and things like that. I mean, all those things are learned here. Relating with the others. With others and maintaining individuality. You relate with others and you also have to show that you are different. You, you, have, you are different and you are an individual. Learns discipline, rules, working on harmony with others, in harmony with others, sharing and cooperating with others, moral values, learning cultural and individual differences. All these things happen during this day. This, as I told you earlier, following rules. The child learns a sense of industry. If he gets cooperation, encouragement for his productive activities like painting or whatever activities, uh, he feels good. He feels a sense of industry. Otherwise, if a child's efforts are regarded as inadequate, oh, you're not doing this properly. Why are you so messy? Teacher may say that. And uh, uh, there is a feeling of inferiority in the child. Psychological crisis here would be industry versus inferiority. The main question is, how can I be good? The, the psychosocial strength here is competence. I need to be competent in order to be good. So, the next stage would be adolescence, 13 to 19 years of age. As we all know, uh, adolescence is a stage of identity crisis. This is a transition from childhood to adulthood. A change of role or roles and building his own identity. Who am I? Conflicting experiences, building relationships and mixed ideas about various ways in which he will fit into the society. Mental and physical maturation happens in this stage. And secondary sexual characteristics develop at puberty and there will be, as you all know, there will be a lot of hormonal changes involving emotional and mental changes along. So the psychosocial, uh, the sec how am I appearing to others is important here. You may find many uh, adolescents right in front of the mirror always. So how am I up looking? That's very, very important. Psychosocial Crisis here is identity versus role confusion. The main question in this stage is who am I and where am I heading? Where am I going? The psychosocial strength here is fidelity. They have to establish certain strong relationship. So, So the next stage of development would be young adult. This is described, I mean, considered as between 20 to 40 years of age and uh, need for intimacy. You will see individuals seeking companionship. After establishing identity, a person is prepared to share deep friendship and meaningful love with others. So in this stage, readiness to sacrifice and compromise is needed and ability to share and care for others is learned 
and fear of rejection there is a fear of rejection what if the if i propose and the girl rejects me so fear of rejection both sexually and also in culturally and also in workplace psychosocial crisis in this stage is intimacy versus isolation the main question is am i loved and wanted the psychosocial strength would be love so next stage would be middle adulthood this uh, encompasses 41 to 65 years of age the age of maturity contributing to society and guiding future generations is the main thing here working for betterment of the society sense of productivity and accomplishment are the main feelings in this stage of development a person who is unwilling to help the society may feel stagnation psychosocial crisis in this stage would be productivity versus stagnation main question would be will i produce something of real value psychosocial strength is care care for others and the society so next comes old age 65 years onwards it's a time of reflection to see how they have led their life sense of acceptance and satisfaction is very very important at this stage a person who has lived richly and resp responsibly develops a sense of integrity which allows him to face aging and death with dignity if he is regretful about the past events of life if there is lot of remorse then he may fall into despair and life may look as a series of missed opportunities i didn't do this i didn't do that he may start regretting this also can be con considered as the second childhood stage because again there is dependence on others for various things it can be monetary it can be uh, day to day living and things social all those things even for travel you you need someone to assist you so it's a second childhood psychosocial crisis here would be ego integrity versus despair the main question here is i have have i lived a full life the psychosocial strength here would be wisdom so when when we apply this all these stages of development to the periodic table this is how it looks like so i would like to just brief you about what has been done with the periodic table as all of you know has 18 columns and 6 uh, or 7 rows mainly and then we have this evolutionary model applied to this periodic table in this way so all the rows are turned into columns here and then all the columns two columns approximately have been clubbed to make one stage of development which corresponds with one stage of development so as you see it's a just one 90 degree rotation of the periodic table what you are seeing so i wouldn't go in detail about this 
this is how it looks like zero to 18. Uh, uh, here, Dr. Gandhi has clubbed inert gases, inert, inert elements, uh, col uh, column into zero, stage zero. So they have come to the next row. So zero to zero and 18 would be womb stage. They are very passive. Helium, neon, argon, krypton, and xenon belong to this stage of development. And uh, oral stage would be covered by hydrogen, lithium, natrium, helium, and rubidium and caesium. So, likewise, all the elements belong to different, different stages of development of human life. So, coming to the personal evolution model, here we consider that the life energy which is there in the unconscious comes to manifest in this world through a life. An individual. So, the first column would be mainly uh, and also uh, as I told you earlier Dr. Gandhi had, uh, has also um, merged the knowledge of elements or the quality of life elemental quality of these stages to this paradigm or pattern so column one is mainly water it's mainly predominantly feminine in nature. It's somewhat containing in oneness. It's not yet born because it doesn't have any shape. It is yet, yet just now it has been conceived. So that's what is column one. So it is shapeless. It doesn't have a proper shape also. So this is what is the characteristic of column one and then when we apply this same thing thing to column two the element would be earth so all these columns are the columns of the plant table so plant chart so this is common for plants as well as can be applied to the uh, periodic table also as i described you earlier so the column two of the plants chart would be earth element. So this corresponds to uh, the dominant feminine once again. But there is something to hold on. It is totally sh shapeless in column one. But whereas in column two, you have a shape, you have, it divides itself into uh, an individual and begins to form this uh, at this stage. It divides from the, totally from the other world and is getting attached to something in the material world. So it has a shape, divides it and begins to shape it. Strong and weak is the is one of the themes here. <coughs> Column three is fire element, predominant, and this is <coughs> on the whole. This womb stage is the whole of womb stage and infancy is feminine, but still within this, comparatively, this is a masculine stage. Column three is a masculine stage because. The fetus has to act to come out of the womb. <coughs> so the masculine 
fights for release but feels under control that it is still within the uterus. Column four is again feminine and also at the end of column, uh, 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 at the lower end of column four, masculine energy starts building. So it's a balance of feminine and masculine to reach the equanimity. Feminine reaches maturity at this end of column 4. So column 5 would be going into the world and uh, this is um, masculine energy. So this splits from the feminine and becomes masculine. And the feminine is suppressed by the masculine energy. And once again, the column six, it is supposedly feminine and the masculine uh, reunion. But the masculine energy predominates here and the uh, feminine is suppressed again. It cannot accept the feminine. So there is... Uh, fire element again because there is a conflict here and there is a fight between the masculine and the feminine energy. So, once again, go, describing the columns and their qualities. Pre-separation is first column. As we see, pre-ego, it is, it is feminine, watery, flowing, initiating, Creative quality is there. There is this is naive. This energy is naive in the first column. And mourning the loss of unity. And no vessel, no ego. The ego is weak, very weak. It is dependent, can act, cannot act on its own, and cannot cope with the material world. They are very, very naive. They are confused, spaced out. <clears throat> Paralyzed. So the second column again here, here or there. They are just now coming into the shape. So they don't know whether they are here or there. There is a split or separation. They start feeling the borders. Not, not here nor there. They are they they may they feel both separated and united small versus big they cover their weakness there can be atrophy there can be cisphian efforts borders formication skin lungs sexual organs can get affected in this column the hero is the third column because he is trying or fighting for separation Separate or be assimilated. That's the uh, challenge here. This is the first masculine impulse that the individual has to come out, to act, to get out of the womb. Fighting mother energy, the child has to come out. Then fourth column, once again, it is maturity, nurturing, mother-child relationships, maturity and ripeness of maternal quality, equality of mother-father elements to be nurtured yet separated, receive yet stay balanced, ability to give care, nurture, all these things are there in this uh, column. And then me and the other is the Fifth column. Fourth column is me and the family. What am I in the family is the fourth column. Whereas fifth column would be me and the society. Masculine quality here, going out. Father is father figure is very, very important in this fifth column. And then the father-child relationships. There is a split from the feminine, and there is a suppression of the feminine elements like emotions. Laws and limitations, rules, 
become more important here religion fanaticism rigidity and hierarchy all these things become very predominant here and criticism resentment sourness work and responsibility this these issues come up here in this uh, fifth column and you will see commitment relationship with spouse and partner competitiveness all these things and issues of limbs and joints come under this fifth column the others uh, the sixth column is me and the world it's not just the society it's the larger group of people the others back to the group strong individual ego you will see i mean the, the, if if the person belongs to this sixth column if he has developed up to this column we call it as equivalent to king series of the elements so strong in individual ego egotism rationalism so they are mainly from the head they are not generally they are, they suppress their heart and they act according to their head weakness of feminine quality fight between the masculine and the feminine power struggle hormonal and fertility issues relationship with the world enjoyment sexuality status all these come under this column uh, so I, at the end there is also a um, fight for the struggle or the position in the society the ego versus others separate cooperate is the um, uh, whether you are uh, you are separate yet you can cooperate and they fight with or take a responsibility for the others either when you perceive the other person as the enemy you will fight when you see that you are the king and you have to help a, help the larger group so you will take the responsibility take up the responsibility so forceful reaction so penetration allergies and injuries all these things come under this uh, column of uh, development So let us see uh, in brief what uh, plant families are covered by these columns. So subclass one has, uh, they are called mag magnolidae. So in this magnolidae subclass, you will have, so one more thing that I would like to say is each in each column you have plant families these plant families are again within themselves are divided according to the development developmental stage of eric erickson model like before life oral stage or anal stage early childhood school age all these these families belong to one or uh, more than uh, one or the other stage of development in this chart so, you will find in subclass 1, magnolials, ma in the womb stage, oral stage would be covered by ileals and piperales, and then anal stage is covered by laurels, the camphora family, and the early childhood is covered by aristolochiaceae and ranunculales, and school age is covered again by ranunculales. Adolescence is covered by ranunculates and young adult, late adulthood and old age is covered by papaverils, that is opium. So uh, in uh, subclass 2, you have hemamel, I mean, it, uh, these uh, are called hemamelidae. In the womb stage, you have articles. Oral stage again is covered by articles and then hemamelid, uh, anal stage is co covered by hemamelidae and then Early childhood is also covered by hemamelidae and then school age is covered by jugulandales and adolescence is covered by myricales and then uh, late adulthood is covered by phagales. So this is, in uh, if you correspond this with the uh, periodic table, this will be lithium, beryllium, boron and carbon stage of development, stages of development. So, so subclass three of plants, they are called 
So karyophyllates in you won't uh, at least we don't know any family in the womb stage or anal stage and uh, in early childhood you will find karyophyllates and then in school age again it's covered by karyophyllates and adolescence is covered by polygonales and this stage of development of subclass three is correspondent with nitrogen oxygen and fluorine of the correspond i mean periodic table so the lhs left hand side of the uh, 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 beryllium or lithium series is corresponding with the second subclass whereas the right hand side nitrogen oxygen fluorine belong i mean they correspond with the sub subclass 3 of the plant food so the next Subclass is new. I mean, um, uh, Delinidae. It's in fancy as as we have seen earlier. So, the uh, before life womb stage is uh, covered by Thales and de Delineales, and then in the oral stage you will find Saracenials, Ebenales, and Mal and then Malvales cover the anal stage and uh, early childhood. And in adolescence, you will find primulales. And in late adulthood, you will find ericales, cucurbitales, caparales, and in old age, caparales and salic salicales. This covers the whole line of row 3 or silica series. So, subclass 5 would be rosids. So, this corresponds with the calcium line or the potassium line of the period periodic table. Rosales, myrtles cover the womb stage. Fabels are in oral stage, and then malpigials and geraniums are in the anal stage. And once again, in early childhood, malpigials are there, and violales are there, and euphorbials are there. And in in school age, you will find sapindales and cornales and ramnales. And in adolescence, you will find ramnales. And in young, as young adults, you will find santanales, and in late adulthood, you are finding celestials and APLs. And APLs also covers the old age uh, level of development of row five, and uh, the whole of row four of periodic table corresponds with this. And subclass uh, six is asteroids or asteridae. So, before life womb stage is covered by <coughs> pulmonales or solanaceae or solanales. Oral stage is covered by gentianales. Both oral and anal stage is covered by gentianales. That's nothing but Naxwomica family. Early childhood is also covered by gentianales and scrofulariales. And school age is covered by sprofularials. Adolescence is covered by uh, plan, plan, planginales and rubiales. And young adults are laminales here. And in uh, late adulthood, you will find dispacales and campa campanulales and asterids. Arnica family and old age, you will find asteroids. This corresponds with the row six of the periodic table. So let us move on to see a case, a case of a boy aged five years. The mother visited me on 30 4, 2020. So, COVID lockdown was almost going on still then. So, so, this was a boy who was already diagnosed with ADHD, autism and delayed milestones. So, the mother tells the history. He urinates and everywhere. He still urinates and defecates anywhere. He is not speaking. One word he speaks. That's all. Walking one year, seven months. 
we forced him to walk. After that, he became quiet. Somewhat, uh, he used to be more active before walking, but he became somewhat quiet after we forced him to walk. He decreased talking or making sounds. So, moving about more started during COVID. As you all know, it was in March. It was the end of March that the lockdown started. Both parents were working. They started working from home. So, no one to look after the kid. Both of them were busy with their work. Earlier, this child was going to some school. So everything, I mean, there were no schools or no maids were allowed during that time. So they always stayed inside and his hyperactivity started then. Earlier, he was somewhat autistic and delayed milestones, but hyperactivity was not this much pronounced. So it started then. He, sit, he eats everything. He needs to smell everything before eating. Lot of jumping. The moment he is told no, he yells. He's very, very angry. He scratches, pinches, tries to bite. He tries to strike, hits us and turns in circles. He does not uh, listen. He, he, he dislikes if anyone says no to any of his activities. So now he's fidgeting his fingers like this. Tries and claps if told no. He likes girls more than boys, fear of heights, loud horns and noises. Runs towards vehicles, not aware of concept of ghost or injury from others. He doesn't know, I mean, uh, the real thing, what, what, what may happen if he hits a vehicle or something like that. He's careful with candle as it is taught to him in the school that you should be careful with the fire or candle or lamp. So if you teach him, he will learn fast. Gets over fears fast. Happy child. Loves colorful lights, light toys. Loves toys with bright light. So he loves sweets. He's a foodie. He likes to explore new food. Used to be constipated. Now also some days he skips his stools. Stools undigested when taken to Rajasthan. Loves being in parks. Very happy if mom and dad and him are there. He dislikes presence of others. My sister's family he is comfortable with. Only one aunt he has and they keep visiting him. He is comfortable with that family. So he loves being pickled. Now does not enjoy swings. Nowadays, I mean, uh, he has a little fear of heights. So he dislikes that swinging action. He likes slides. He likes going to one park. One particular slide only. He cannot tolerate hunger. He loves music. He jumps up. Calmly he will listen. He loves cartoons. Specific videos he likes. If anything is disliked, he, 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 he dislikes. If disliked ones come, he comes with the remote and hold our hand and wants us to change. We have a dog and he is scared, not scared of animals. There are repetitive activities. He likes routine. Even if we are out, he wants us to follow that only. Loud shouting. He screams in the street. He screams anywhere he is taken. He becomes quiet also if convinced. Mom cannot leave to office. His body temperature increases slightly when he is angry or mom leaves him. It's almost like fever. After mom comes back, he looks dull, not jumping around. Milk, milk bottle is recently stopped. They, they have stopped. He is five years old and milk bottle recently stopped. Breastfeeding during night until three plus years. 
and not just him his mother also used to drink mom's milk up to the age of 5 years so this is what is the picture that i got from the mother and what as i explored further into the case so mother's history is very very important in uh, such cases so i just asked them and she tells me that gestational diabetes she developed diabetes during her pregnancy she also developed hypertension after 8.5 8 and a half months and it was a cesarean section i did have contractions she did develop contractions but why did they do cesarean section i had two miscarriages before him this pregnancy was also high antibody sensitive pregnancy the earlier two miscarriages were also because of the same issue she the, the mother's body producing antibodies to the rbcs of the child so this is what is high antibody sensitive pregnancy so it was this pregnancy was also accidental as we had not yet decided to try again so i thought i may have a miscarriage this time also all through the any time i can lose the child mentally kept missing my parents her uh, parents uh, passed away during uh, uh, recently had passed away then so she kept missing her parents i did not think i will make it fear constant fear i was occupied with office work though in the third trimester sugar started dropping all through she had very high blood sugar and she did not eat my i mean eat her favorite foods all through i did not eat my favorite foods in the pregnancy i love rice but i started eating arka it's a type of millet that is used by many of the diabetics to in our diabetics in order to control sugar so the remedy given anyone wants to uh sorry anyone wants to uh share their uh, views regarding remedy so i'll go ahead with the follow up first so the follow up video would be again i would like to are are you able to hear yes no you can't hear you can't hear uh audible so ma'am pause and i'll just try to
डॉक्टर ममता मे बी स्टॉप शेयरिंग नाउ एंड देन शेयर अगेन विद द ऑडियो आई स्टॉप शेयरिंग uh that okay. might help because there is an option which says and then you share only the video and then say share audio as well uh -huh. maybe you shared the entire thing that is why you were not sharing one window you were sharing your entire screen that is why so stop okay. sharing and share this video and then you say sh share with audio so how to stop sharing the video are you able to hear now no mamta so there are captions i think you can go through so i hope uh, you could understand uh, with the captions so i would like to resume back to my slide show and i have uh, so this is what the mother says mom could find the difference on the third day itself lot of improvement in eye contact 
sleep used to be disturbed with restlessness now uninterrupted he is behaviorally much better he used to carry and yell uh, cry and yell in the therapy when he was made to climb up something he would resist all the things but especially when he was made to climb something he would resist it uh, in very rigorously but he is sitting in one place now he is not crying and he is sitting in one place his fine motor skills have improved and was able to put matchsticks inside a straw this activity is what they give for children he is able to do that not much difference with his speech he does not need dapper now that's uh, going to toilet for urination but stools he is not saying and again uh, i have had uh, many follow ups in between but i have may, uh, uh, after uh, uh, some two or three years i have may, i have asked them to give me some videos of his improvement i mean his follow ups so they have uh, shared some i'll try to share them are you able to see hello yes yes ma'am are you able to hear also no so he is able to uh, segregate according to colors so this is another video are you able to see yes so wow this is amazing. he is able to put on his pants whatever he he wants he is able to uh, show parents and he is able to interact at, with parents so he is now able to keep things in their respective places he has learnt a lot life skills so
so uh, they were irregular also in between constipated so unable to train him intermittent passing sometimes he passes more loose stools sometimes later constipation again no problem during medication he repeats sounds too jumpy after stopping the medicine appetite increased keeps looking for snacks soon after lunch to 5 pm 5 pm and uh, screaming has almost uh, stopped so it is decreased uh, very much and he weeps now he doesn't scream but he weeps if he is not happy no fear of heights now he climbs everywhere earlier he was afraid to stand on the cot if we wouldn't know he you hold him so would refuse to do climbing activities as he was up, afraid even in park wherever he would go he would never climb up anything candle blowing also he learned at one go he blew his birthday candle for the first time he eats on his own on his own now and he is picking up instructions once told it's enough he is putting on he is putting on his seat belts he life skills improved a lot he is keeping things in their places now he knows what kind of container he should bring for liquids solids and of different sizes learning routine things well if you teach him once he will follow now he segregates different types of grains when mixed so that was the case and uh, the case analysis would be as follows so let us see his issues and where these issues which i mean which level of development these issues belong to so he still urinates and defecates anywhere so what is this who who is it that who, who doesn't have any sense as to where and when to urinate so it is infancy isn't it prolonged breastfeeding his mother also that also once again infancy is prolonged so much mom cannot leave to office whenever he is separated from mother he feels i mean his body temperature raises isn't it and separation anxiety is again infancy i mean he wants his mother constantly infancy and hyperactivity worse during covid when no one to engage him so once again a child needs attention care constantly so that is needed to this boy also so when that was not there his hyperactivity increased so that that is also one of the indications for his level of development that he is in infancy need for attention infancy delay in milestones isn't it what are the milestones generally turning and things like that what are the, i mean uh, what is the very first milestone of any individual that he has to attain it is just suckling the breast of the mother right many infants are unable to do that so you should think of the line of development according to the traits or the issues that they have delay in milestones is again, again a natrum line so it is in infant it's it's in natrum line that uh, a child uh, uh, passes through milestones so that's also infancy and communication cannot natrum line natrum line again is uh, correspondent with infancy line of uh, pem model so again autism Aut what is autism autism is a disconnect from the real world it is womb stage isn't it i mean autism is a total uh, they cannot communicate with the outer world they are they have their own world this is very similar to an infant inside the womb so it is womb stage 
fear of heights, loud horns, noises. That is also again a sensitiveness to uh, as a, no, all these things is again reflecting womb stage. They are unaware of dangers and physical harms. That is also womb stage of development. I just would like to switch on my uh, charger, please. Excuse me. So, so all these things belong to either infancy or the womb stage. So, what is it that is still more important? You will find many of these uh, uh, children who suffer from these issues with these things like fear of heights or whatever. I mean, delayed milestones, all these things. But what is it? which is still more peculiar. Hello? Hello? Most important and peculiar of the case. So that is mother's history during pregnancy. So as we see, it was an accidental. The pregnancy itself was accidental. The mother was not prepared to be pregnant. They had not planned it. And gestational diabetes, it's a metabolic disorder. So metabolic, what? where, where does meta, metabolism come? It is in food. Isn't it related to food, eating? So that is again a peculiar level of development, isn't it? food. I could not eat my favorite foods, the mother says. Mother is a foodie. She, she likes various things. She couldn't eat anything because she had to maintain her blood sugar levels. So she loves rice but ate millets. So she missed her parents too. So all these things also uh, come under infancy line of development. And also see the pathology. High antibody sensitive pregnancy. Mother producing antibodies to the fetal RBC. So had two miscarriages earlier with the same issue. I thought I will not make it. Doc told anytime anything can happen. Constant, constant fear as to I may lose my child now. Okay. Where do you find all these things? I'll uh, go a little faster because uh, it's almost four over. Uh, maturity, nurturing. Mother equality.
So Dr. Mamta is having some connection issues, but she's joining us back soon. Dr. Mamta, are you back here now? Dr. Mamta, we can't hear you. Are you able to hear now? Yes, now. Yes, yes. Now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, yeah. maturity, nurturing, mother, child, all these things, daily need day, daily need day. In TLs, you will find this fear of motherhood, early birth, immature not receiving the basis for life, not ready to separate from mother and be mother. So this unpreparedness for uh, being a mother and also anytime fear of death and wish for death is also there in this. So this is what is the, uh, I mean, um, level of development. So the remedy given was Thea 200, single dose was given. As you all saw that, I mean, soon after 15 days, the uh, boy was responding well. And uh, let us see what are the uh, issues of this infancy line. Infancy line, as I have told you earlier, trust versus mistrust, nutrition, nurturing, nurtured as a baby and nurturing others as an adult. All these nurturing issues will come in uh, natrium line or infancy line. Mother and child relationships, maturity and ripening of maternal quality, ability to give, care, nurture or its absence. I didn't receive care. I was not able to give. All these issues also come under this level only. Predominantly Feminine and moving towards the masculine at the end. Food, whether it is sufficient or insufficient. Whether I got it or not, uh, I didn't get it. Will I starve? So money is a provider of food and basic things here. So there is a fear of poverty as well as we, we see in Brayonium. Receiving within familial context. context. Maintaining a balance between feminine and the masculine. So excessive giving leading to exhaustion. Carrying a cross for the family. Working so much for the family and their nurturing and care. Conflict with the family and finally leaving it. There could be bitterness towards the family. That I have done so much for the family. Family versus personal needs. I or me in the family is the main issue of the silica series or the nature line. So TLs is the womb stage of this uh, nature or infancy line. Thea and hypericum are the main remedies. Trust versus, versus mistrust, unpreparedness to become mother, lack of confidence in becoming a mother, fundamental existential mistrust. 
clinging, fear of death, whom can kill me or do I survive? I think I think you all know that I mean Thea has this delusion that the she may kill her own child. That's what is the delusion of Thea. So the next uh, level of development, lower row would be infancy, Drosera, Nepenthes, and Saracenia are the main drugs uh, in this row. In Oral stage, infancy, double infancy, because this is infancy line, both from rows and columns. So this is double infancy. Issues are also infancy and the uh, dealing with those issues or the coping pattern is also infancy. Strong sense of mistrust. These plants are car carnivorous plants in this family and grow in nitrogen deficient soil. Mother Earth does not provide enough. So they are so they become carnivorous they are very attractive plants they trap insects through their attractive colors and shapes and they uh, through deception so uh, they will close and they trap the insect so they may look like snakes or insects personalities delusion persecuted being is one of the Important delusions of Drosera. Deprived of mother's love, not provided enough. This is what is the feeling all through this level of uh, development in infancy. So delusion being trapped. So next level is toddler level of this infancy. The main uh, drugs would be chocolate, cola, gossypium, abroma augusta and abelmoscus belong to this level, uh, this family, uh, malveils, and then this order rather. Uh, anal stage, prove that I can do. The main sensation of mal malvesi is that attachment and detachment. Too much attached and difficult to detach and things, all those things. So prove that I need or I don't need love. Taking action in order to gain love and then attach and detach. Express that in this family, uh, chocolate, uh, all these people, they express love. May need hugging, cuddling and things like that. So the next uh, family would be primulales. So this covers the adolescence level of development in infancy. Cyclamen and anagallis are the main drugs. Young girls needing freedom to do what they want. Then they uh, getting pregnant, don't want to take the responsibility and feel guilty. Guilt is a very strong theme of cyclamen. Terror of conscience, self-reproach, milk in virgin breast or non-pregnant women. Strong affinity for female urogenital system, painful early menses, dark clotted discharges, labor like pains, decreasing feminine and masculine begins to appear at this stage of development. Sexual confusions. This is a stage of transition. So next is uh, the cucurbitales, the order, the late adulthood. Here you will find vibrionia, colosynth and cephalandra indica and dilatarium could be, I mean, uh, the identifiable main remedies. So this is the pumpkin family. They are creepers with large fruits bearing fruits so they, they they bear fruits bitterness am i am giving so much to the family taking too much responsibility i have no support so this is what is the feeling so the archetypal of cucurbitales is pumpkin hoarding so pumpkins all these fruits are very large now i mean they have a lot of food in it Holding, conserving money or providing for, for, for providing for her family for future. Bryonia has this fear of poverty. Woman wanting to go out for fending for her family. The masculine try, trying to suppress the feminine. The feminine becoming masculine. Feeling I don't have enough. So the next uh, order would be, I mean, uh, uh, Ericales, 
this covers late adulthood stage of infancy calmia rhododendron ladum and ua ursi are the main drugs rheumatic affections rigidity of joints predominance of masculine elements br bringing in rigidity and hardness fight for separation from the family leprous feeling strong woman or mother these these people can be very strong women men can develop sexual problems at this stage and also salix alba salix fragilica feeling unloved more rigidity and fear of death salix salix else is old age again and caparels is also also comes under old age here you will find the family cruciferae in which you have iberis sinapis alba sinapis nigra thalassobarsa thiosaminum and rafanesin lepidum as the important drugs i am stuck in the family responsibility is the feeling here i want to free myself block and block feminine flow is blocked family responsibility is obstructing me these lower families are similar to muriaticum and may develop aversion to mother you know muriaticum has this leprous feeling and uh, sadness because of rejection crucifere represents the cross the crucifixion the time of christianity christ tells us i have come to separate you from mother father and sister your love which was there for your family should follow flow out for the society now the larger people broaden your vision of love pathology is fertility issues bleeding abortions not bearing fruits keloids scarring old scars and calcifications sinapis nigra is one of the main remedies for obstruction hay fever with dry coryza fear of death old age ocd you can observe in this level in this level of development also because of the rigidity so this is what is uh, the main um, important uh, families and levels of de uh, development in uh, infancy hope it was uh, helpful to any of you um, so thank you one and all very nice and comprehensive session hello saying very nice and comprehensive session wonderful wonderful thank you ma'am was thank very you, very deep and all hope it was elaborate thank you okay thank you